Hey everyone, welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be looking at the Moopin64 emulator. Uh, the version I'm going to show you here is the one that comes uh, with the built-in GUI. Uh, you know, the interface, so you, you won't have to launch the ROMs through the command line. Uh, just a heads up for me, the ABAS did flag this as a potential virus. So it's up to you to make a decision, you know, whether you want to download it. I have had no issues with it. Uh, so with that said, you know, just a heads up that it may uh, flag it as a virus. So what I did was just, you know, disable mines until I got it installed. Uh, so let's go ahead and travel to this website. What we're going to do here is download the version that says uh, setup.exe. This is simpler because it will install it on its own without you having to, uh, you know, extract it to its own folder. So go ahead and click on this one, make it easier for yourself. Once you've got that downloaded, close your browser. You're going to navigate to the folder that has the file. So just double click on this. And this has everything built in. So you do not need to get the, uh, you know, GUI separately. So this is the default location. Go ahead and extract that to your. And go ahead and click next install. Once you do that, it should complete like this and uh, show you the option to launch it. So go ahead and click finish and uh, leave that checked. And it should pop up just like this for you. Once that comes up, you can go ahead and just maximize the window. So first time you're going to launch this, what you're going to do is tell it from list and mines it automatically found it because I had this installed before. Uh, when you do it the first time, it's going to give you an option to, uh, you know, show you some directories. And what you're going to do is go to the bottom one and pick the ROMs and you're going to point it to the folder that has your ROMs and then it'll populate this. This will take a little bit to show up, but as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. I like it it has the uh, title screens and the snapshots in there the games that you have in that folder so that's the reason it takes a little bit to load so let's jump out of there real quick and go to the settings so this is where you will set your paths so like i said just go down here you're going to click on browse and then point to the folder that has your roms all these other ones are default to inside the folder that has the emulator and the uh, you know the uh, gui itself so you can, these top three you can leave alone uh, the settings here on emulator, I left everything as is for the graphics. Uh, I left everything also as is. The plugins. Now, I recommend you use Glide N64. It does come with the Video Rice one that does have some issues with some of the games. But I highly recommend you live it on uh, GLN64, you know, the Glide version of the plugin. And then you can click on there. I left everything on here the same. Uh, you can go ahead and go through this and change, you know, any settings that you feel you may want to change. There's a, a lot of uh, options in here to, uh, you know, look. So I left mine on default. So with that said, basically the emulator is good to go. You can check your uh, audio. I left that all, uh, you know, also at defaults. Now for your input, if, you're, if yours comes up like this and it's on the you know, default mode automatic and it found your joystick, you can go ahead and leave it at that. Uh, if it didn't, you can, you know, go in here and just do everything on your own by hand. You can change everything manually, depending on what type of device you have. But like I said, if it uh, comes up mode fully automatic and you see your joystick on here and these are already filled in, uh, it should be good to go as is. If it does not work correctly, just go ahead and, like I said, go here and pick your, uh, you know, your mode option fully manual. And then that'll let you do it on your own and assign, you know, Respond buttons to the functions on here. So with that said, you're basically all set to go. Let's go ahead and open up a, a ROM on here from the list. Uh, I like to try this one because this is one of the ones where the emulation has really improved. It literally runs this perfectly here. The uh, in games. Let's go ahead and do in uh, Sadika here. There you go. As you can see, everything looks fine. Just gonna leave everything here at default. We're just gonna jump in there real quick.
So as you can see, the emulator runs to perfection. There's no visual glitches, nothing of that nature on here. No slowdowns. Uh, again, you know, the uh, performance will you know, be dictated by the uh, type of GPU you have. And, but anything fairly recent should have no issues at all running this emulator. So with that said, that is it for the video. If you guys make use of that, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And we will catch you guys on the next video. Have a great day.